Hello Reds. It's confirmed that Ten Hag could be sacked on the same day Jose Mourinho was axed by Manchester United as the prospect of a Christmas dismissal becomes ever more likely. The special one was dismissed on December 18, 2018, after a dismal run of form. His final game was two days earlier against Liverpool, which ended in a 3-1 defeat. And this year, United take on the Reds on December 17th in a clash which is sure to leave Ten Hag sweating over his future. Elsewhere, Ten Hag to blame for form. Gordon Strachan believes Ten Hag must bear the brunt of blame for Man United's awful season. He told Ice 36, As a manager, you have to take the hit. You have to take the criticism. Especially if you've signed so many of the players. These are mainly his players now. The United board have bent over backwards to give him the players that he wanted and what are the clubs showing for it? Absolutely nothing. Manchester United's performances this season haven't been beyond average. Meanwhile, Bakari Sagna reckons Bruno Fernandes may not be the right captain material for Man Ut. He told Paddy Power, The one person who decides who the captain should be is the manager, and Eric Ten Hag sees Bruno Fernandes on a regular basis, and he knows him better than anyone. He's the best person to assess the ability of someone to be captain. He chose Bruno Fernandes as captain because he saw leadership qualities and he's a winner. He might have the wrong body language and gets upset sometimes, but that's because he's looking for perfection. Can we criticize a player for not being happy if another player isn't performing? Fernandez is trying to push everyone on, and no one likes bad body language. But I try to look at it from another point of view. It's important to have a captain who is vocal and talks a lot when things aren't going well. That's why they are captains. On the other side, Man United supporters were raging last night after VAR failed to check a foul that could have led to a sending off against FC Copenhagen. Copenhagen defender Dennis Vavro was booked for a foul Rasmus Hoylund in first half stoppage time. But supporters believe he should have received his marching orders during the second period after a clash with the Dane. As the pair tussled following a ball played forward by the Red Devils, Hojlund managed to flick it on despite the centre-back having both arms around his chest, only to then receive a forearm in the side of the face. Again and again. Jaden tipped to depart in next transfer window outcast winger Jaden Sancho is tipped to exit United in January. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano believes the 23-cap Englishman, 23, is expected to leave, but it's not known if that's permanently or on loan. Former Borussia Dortmund star Sancho fell out with Old Trafford manager Eric Ten Hag in September following a dispute over why he was dropped. Meanwhile, Braga number one. Mateus admits he was moved to get offers from Manchester United and Nottingham Forest. The Brazilian, 31, joined his Portuguese top flight club in 2014, but he is proud to have been talked about for a high-profile transfer. He told TNT Sports, Moves you, buddy. Honestly, it does. So when you receive the contact and see that, the stamp there from a big European club mate, whether you like it or not, it moves you. He added, You're a boy who leaves Brazil full of dreams, and you always see these big clubs on television, following them, the Champions League, the Premier League, great players who have played there, David Beckham, David De Gea, meanwhile. What Eric Ten Hag told Manchester United players in dressing room after Copenhagen loss. Man United have lost three of their four Champions League group games, and defeat to Galatasaray would see them knocked out of the competition. Eric Ten Hag is adamant fortune will eventually turn in Manchester United's favor, despite a ninth defeat of the season. United have lost more games than they have won after Copenhagen recovered from 2-0 down and 3-2 down to prevail 4-3 in a dramatic Champions League group stage encounter. The loss leaves United bottom of Group A with two games to play and if they lose to Galatasaray in Istanbul in three weeks, they will be out of the Champions League. United were excellent until Marcus Rashford was sent off in the 42nd minute in the Parkin Stadium, and they regained the lead with 10 men through Bruno Fernandes in the second half. 
Copenhagen equalized in the 83rd minute, and 17-year-old Rooney Bardgaji slammed in the winner four minutes later. Ten Hag was particularly disappointed, as United had given an admirable account for much of the contest, only to leave without any points. The United manager maintained, there is still belief the team can progress to the last 16. This squad is resilient and the whole season so many decisions are against us, so many setbacks for injuries, again and again. Manchester United's chances of qualifying for the Champions League last 16 took a major blow as they suffered a dramatic 4-3 defeat against Copenhagen in Denmark. Fresh off the back of Saturday's 1-0 win over Fulham, it was Eric Ten Hag's men who begun the brighter of the two sides. They were rewarded for their fast start and took the lead through Rasmus Hoylund's close-range strike. United continued to pile on the pressure and doubled their advantage as Hoylund struck his second. However, Copenhagen were handed a lifeline back into the contest when Marcus Rashford was shown a straight red card. The Danish side pounced on the opportunity and pulled one back through Mohamed El Yunusi before Diogo Goncalves leveled from the penalty spot just before halftime. Despite being down to 10 men, United controlled the game and retook the lead in the second half when Fernandez coolly converted a penalty. However, the Red Devils collapsed and conceded two late goals as Lucas Larriger and Rooney Bardgaji scored to hand Copenhagen all three points. Here are five talking points from the Parkin Stadium. Meanwhile, Hodgelin continues European form. Despite failing to net in his opening eight Premier League appearances, Hodgelund hasn't found scoring as difficult in Europe. The 20-year-old who joined United for 64 million plus add-ons in the summer struck once against Bayern Munich and twice in the defeat at home to Galatasaray. And Hodgland added another two to his Champions League tally against former club Copenhagen. He scored his first of the match inside the opening three minutes, tapping home from close range following Scott McTominay's low-driven cross. Then, in the 28th minute, Camille Grabara parried Alejandro Garnacho's strike into the path of Hodgland, who slotted the ball into an empty net to complete his brace. Moments later, the Dane should have completed his hat-trick as he pounced on an error, but saw his half-volley well saved by Grabara. Hodgland was presented with another opportunity before half-time as he ran through on goal but dragged his effort wide of target. United were cruising and fully in control of proceedings in the Danish capital, up until Rashford was shown a straight red card. The 26-year-old was sent off, following a VAR check, after a foul on opponent Elias Jellert. So, after all of this, United fans have been left baffled by UEFA's explanation of Marcus Rashford's red card against Copenhagen.